Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Big Fish Life, for those of you who don't know me. My name's Paul, and today I'm gonna do a tour of my fish tanks and how I run those fish tanks. This video is requested by Mixed Fish UK, and for those of you that don't know who Mixed Fish is, he runs an Instagram account and he's got a YouTube account. Go and check him out, Mixed Fish UK. Fantastic fish and a fantastic account. So Mick, this is for you. Firstly, I'm gonna show you the big tank and then I'm gonna run you through through the others. Okay guys, so let's start with the seven footer. So, this guys is um, seven foot by two foot by two foot. Um, and it is around 200 gallons US, 800 liters um, and it's currently stocking Central and North American cichlids. Um, it was made by a company called Colourful Aquatics that unfortunately don't run anymore and it's just basically, it is a, it is a brown stand at the moment as you can see um, and it's got no lid, it's just got, it's just like got sliders and I run a couple of lights on top of it so I'll take you through my filtration and what I use for heating on here and, and obviously other stuff to do with the tank. So, I run two FX6 filters. There's one in that corner and there's one in that corner. Um, they're in the, underneath the cabinet. So, there's one on that side there um, and that runs up the back. And then there's another one this side. So, two, two of the new models and I bought them new. Um, and I had no problems with them, such wood. Okay guys, the e -tin is the Fluval E300 series. And I, I love these eaters. I've had these eaters since I set this tank up. And again, not a problem. And I think they're really, really good eaters. So I would recommend them to anybody. I also run this wave maker. So this wave maker is just for water move, extra water movement. And cause the, the, the they do they move the bits a lot. I just want it to be blowing this into the filters. It's only a cheap one, but it's absolutely brilliant. It's between 4,000 litres per hour, 10,000 litres per hour. It's one that has the magnet. I just think it holds stronger, to be honest with you. Um, and I like that better. So yeah, that, like I said on another video, guys, I run, I do run my tank simple. So basically what I mean by that is, I use the filters with the uh, media that they come with, um, a couple of eaters and a, ch and a cheap what uh, wave maker, and I never have a problem, guys. And a lot, there's quite a lot of fish in this. Parameters are always fantastic. Nitrates are always low. I just use the two ornaments that you can see in the camera right now. Um, I did have I did have loads of wood in here, but what happens with these Central Americans and North American cichlids? They fight. So what you find happening is they get injured in the wood and stuff. So I've put a couple of pieces of wood in the corner, in each corner, because there is some female bristle nose plex in there. Um, and stock, obviously, as you can see, it's an array of Central and North American cichlids. Um, I'll do a video on the, on the fish in the tank another time, guys. I just want to sort of like talk you through my tanks today and how I run them. So without droning on. Okay, guys, that's the seven foot tank. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to show you the Jag tank. And this guys is my Jaguar Cichlid tank. So, as you can see, it's a white dual Rio 450. Um, and it is 450 litres, about 120 gallons. Let's move back so I can get more of the tanking guys. Yeah, I bought this tank new and it's these tanks are excellent. I will be moving to these tanks for in the, in the future, so all tanks will be these uh, going forward. Um, my filtration on this is this big internal filter that comes built in with this tank, and that has two sections of media in it. Um, again, it's still got the same that it had when it came, and I run these two sponge filters as well, just for extra, um, extra uh, filtration. As you can see, there's a load of babies growing out there. Um, some of them are nearly an inch, which are fantastic. They're for parents. And if you look down there, and you can see that clump, that's again another load of fry on its way. They breed for fun, these fish. They love to breed. And they've got to a stage now where, look, me, he's not even bothered, look. 
as long as they stay away, I'll leave them alone. So I could end up with loads of Jaguar cichlids in here, but we'll see. And that's how I run that tank, guys. It's not, you know, quite simple. Loads of rocks, because they love the rocks. Um, it doesn't matter how you set the tank up, they will reset it up there the way they want it. I do have an algae problem in this tank, guys, but right now, pretty good for the babies, because they can graze on it. Um, yeah, and that's that tank, guys, simple. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys my cube tank. So this is very different. So this tank is a cube tank. It's got a timber frame, which I'm, I need to cover in some white panels, which I've got. Um, but it, it's two foot by two foot by two foot. And that's around about, I think about 60 litres, 65, sorry, gallons, 65 gallons US. Um, it's around about 220 litres. And the current stock in this tank right now, so let me close this curtain, guys, because it's a bit dark. So the, the current stock, the, sorry, the current filtration on this tank is this internal filter here. And the internal filter in this is made by APS. It comes with three canister, three like canister bits to it. It's huge and it's an absolute fantastic fantastic filter um, it keeps this clean I have just done a water change on this tank and I've added buffers so it looks a little bit cloudy uh, but that will clear up so crystal clean in a couple of hours and I run that fil that eater there is was the eater that was in with Ed the flower on and um, because obviously I had a cover on it because he was a bit mental but obviously we lost Ed and I just put a big piece of Red more in because you know, I think angels like that kind of stuff. I am going to get, I've ordered some plants, so I've got some Amazon swords coming and I'll get some other plants when I see it. That's where all my food is, guys, and all my chemicals. That's just in between the tanks, that's all we done out of the way. Quite a lot of chemicals and foods in there. Again, I've done videos on foods and chemicals, um, which is fantastic. So, yeah, so that there, there are the three tanks in this room. So, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the tank that's in the living room so we have a tank in the living room and it's just a small one but it's only because i've got no room in there so we're just going i'm just, gonna, I'm just taking you into my living room guys uh, i'm just going to show you this tank now so just bear with me and then i'll show you so this is my dual rio again and this is the 240 so i'll just pan back so you can see it <coughs> so like i said to you before guys I'm going to be getting all these tanks so i've already got two so i'm gonna with the big seven footer i'm just going to get the panel in and cover that but then i'm gonna it, uh, I, I am going to look over tanks and then it will be whenever i get them it will be these so this tank guys 240 liters about 70 gallons 75 gallons again the estimates the figures i'm giving you guys are estimates i'm not 100 sure uh, but on this tank from a filtration point of view i run a um Aqua One Aqueous 1250 Series 2. Now, guys, these filters are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they're brilliant. I love them. I have got another one in the back room, which I'm not using at the moment, but I swear by these filters, guys. They're brilliant. Um, I would honestly dead quiet uh, and, and they do a fantastic job this filter set up to do 100 up to 400 liters so um this is more than enough from in here uh, and it's just got the dual 200 watt eater that came with it and from a decor point of view you're looking at big piece of bog wood because i've got loads of little little uh, bm plex in there sorry about the glare guys uh, it's near a window this tank so there is two super reds two lemons, um, a load of commons, and then there's a big massive albino male, but I can't see it anywhere, to be honest with you. So he will be underneath that piece of wood somewhere hiding, or within the end up there somewhere. Uh, there is a convict and an Andor in there, which are trying to breed, and then there's a little convict over there, but the main guy is in there, and it's my Trimac. Um, I'm not gonna go too much about him, because I've got another video coming out of it about him, guys. Um, but he's hiding because I'm, I've got my camera out. It's, it's always the same, guys. So yeah, that's the current situation with my tanks. Four tanks. Uh, that's how I run them with filtration, heater. Keep it simple, guys. That's what I do. Always keep it simple, but that's my opinion, guys. Um, and then, um, obviously, I do water changes every week. I've just done my water changes today, actually. Um, so some of the, some, a lot of the tanks have had buffers and stuff, and so some, that's why some of the fish might be hiding. Look, there he is there. So I've gone back in, because I'm coming out. But like I say, I've got another video coming out about the Trimac, guys. Um, 
yeah and that's um, that's all four tanks so I'm going to take you back into the other room so I'm going to go back into the other room guys but yeah Mix Fish UK that's for you um, I can say guys Instagram Mix Fish UK YouTube go and see him he's brilliant you want to see a decent Asian arowana check his channel out but that's enough from me I'm still drawing on and thanks for watching and see you on the next video like and subscribe guys and send us a comment if you wish See you soon.